John Calvin, Select Letters, Episode 56. Vos homines esse, in hoc pugnae genera, exercitatos, nec tam facile posse laba factari, cavendum esse, ne rex prodita suorum inscitia, totum regnum magno ludibrio exponeret. As Calvin continues here, we are still in indirect speech. He is reporting on what the bishop Chatelon said to the king, Francis I of France. So he said that you, this would be Melanchthon and the other German Protestants, that you were men, os homines esse, in hoc genera, in this type of conflict, exercitatos, you were well trained. Remember, in oratio obliqua, or indirect discourse, we're going to have the subject in the accusative case, that's going to be vos, this is the masculine plural accusative, we're going to have the infinitive, esse, and the predicate here is exercitatos, that you men were well trained in this kind of conflict. So, in hoc genere, genere is a neuter singular ablative, object of the preposition in, modified by hoc. And pugnae is a feminine singular genitive, well-trained in this kind of conflict. Nor, he said, would it be as easy, tam fac la posse, would it be so easy, la befactari, to make you slip and fall. That is, to make you make a mistake at this proposed disputation, which turned out to be the Council of Trent. Now, since this part is still indirect discourse, let's talk a moment about the infinitives. Posse is going to be the infinitive, and facile is its predicate. Nor that it would be as easy, and then with laba factari, we have to understand the subject wos from here, and so it's still masculine, plural, and accusative, that it would not be so easy for you to be tripped up. So this is from the verb laba facto, laba factare, like so, and here it is a present infinitive passive. He said, moreover, now we have cawendum esse, we have cawendum esse, which is from caweo, caweire, second conjugation, to be on guard. So Chatelon said that one must be on guard, cawendum esse. So this is a passive periphrastic, that is, it's a gerundive, cawendum, with a form of esse, and it denotes obligation. The reason that it is esse, and not something like sit or est, is that we are still in oratio obliqua. So, Chatelon said that one must be on guard in order that not, nay. So this is sometimes translated with the archaic word lest, but it means a negative purpose. One must be on guard lest the king, Rdrex, when the ignorance in scitia, or the inexperience, of his own theologian, suorum prodita, when it was revealed, or it was set forward, that the king not exponeret, not expose the whole kingdom, totum regnum, to great mockery, magno ludibrio. So the basic structure of this last part is simple. It's ne, rakes, and exponeret. There's the verb, exponeret, like so, which is a third singular imperfect subjunctive active from the third conjugation, expono, exponere, like so. The object is totum regnum, which will be neuter singular and accusative. And then we have Magno ludibrio, which is a neuter singular dative as an indirect object. So expose the whole kingdom to great mockery, magno ludibrio. The last part here then is the prodita suorum in scitia. So prodita, right here, is feminine singular and ablative. It is from the third conjugation verb proto protore, and here it's a participle. And then it's modifying in scitia, which is also feminine, singular, and ablative. So one must be on guard lest the king, when the inexperience in scitia, or the ignorance of his own theologian's suorum, was brought to light, prodita, put forward, betrayed. Suorum is masculine, plural, and genitive. When that happened, the king might expose, etc. So Chatelon's argument is playing on the king's vanity and pride that he's claiming the French theologians are inexperienced, therefore they shouldn't be sent to the council, because this would make the king look bad. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash latinperdium. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.